All right, Christmas is over and the stores are totally ready for the next holiday. Are you? I'm not quite, I'm still enjoying the downtime with my family, but if you don't pick it up, you miss out. So today I have a Valentine's themed Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and I already mentioned today I am sharing a Dollar Tree haul. So it is on the average haul size for me, but if you stick to the end, there's a little bonus surprise. So definitely make sure that you are watching. Um, I got a lot of things for Valentine's Day. I'm doing something a little different for my kids this year. And then I got just a few Christmas clearance items, not a whole lot. I really, last the last two years, I did a really big like after Christmas clearance haul, but I just don't need a whole lot this year. So I've only been picking up a few things here or there. I've actually only been to like two stores since Christmas and that was it. And then I just found some random items that I wanted to share with you guys. So let me, oh, and a couple Easter things too. What? Like crazy, 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 crazy. The stores just want all the holidays. <laughs> they're, they're like, one's over, let's start getting ready for the next one. So I actually did not organize or anything like that. So we'll see. I think some of the Christmas stuff is in the same bag, but let me go ahead and just start pulling things out and sharing what I got. As far as the Christmas clearance, so the Christmas stuff is 50% off and all I did was pick up some boxes. I utilize boxes a lot this year and these ones, unless your kids are like really delicate, which mine are not, they don't last more than one wrapping because they get ripped, the size get ripped and all of that. So I knew after I wrapped this year, the way that I opted to wrap this year, I wanted to do it the same next year. So I did go ahead and pick up some more boxes, super cute. Obviously I picked this one up because of the rate, the unicorn, it is a three set and again, 50 cents for these three boxes. So that's fantastic. It does show you, I mean, it shows you the second one on the back and then I love that it shows you the third one also because sometimes you have no idea. It's like a mystery what the ones in the middle are, but it does show you on here. So I picked up this smaller size box and then these are great for clothes, which my kids get every single Christmas, something to wear. So I picked up two different sets for next year and they have three in each. Now this one, does not show you what the third one is. So this one says Mary and Bright, and then on this side it says Joy, but I have no idea what the third one is, and I'm not gonna open these because again, they're for next year, so they're easier to store if they're all nice and contained. And then this one, three piece as well, I have no idea what the third one is, but this one says Happy Holidays, and it's got the ornaments, and then on this side, it's the tree and it says Holly Jolly Christmas. And again, I don't know what that third one is. So that's it. That's all I picked up. So $1.50 instead of $3. Definitely good to save when you can. I did get one thing from the dollar plus section and that is this really nice size. Oh, 192 pages. I was like, I don't know if it tells me how many pages. 192 pages and it is a sketchbook. So I picked this up for my oldest daughter page and you guys will see once I get into the bags, actually this isn't gonna fit the bags that I got. We'll figure it out, but I'm gonna do a out advent for Valentine's Day this year. So this was only $3, which I think is really great for that many sheets. She loves to sketch and paint and all of that. So I know that she'll love this and I just love the colors and I love that it's bound so she could keep, you know, a work of her art and all of that. Cause right now she just has various random papers and all of that. So I love this. I got that for her. This is going to be one of her actually, since this is so big, I'll probably keep this for Valentine's day. So I'm going to do an advent sort of like Christmas leading up, just little itty bitty things here and there, a uh, dollar bill every now and then as well. I'm not gonna pick up a whole bunch of knickknacks. And then for Valentine's Day, normally in the past, we would do like a bigger basket. And this year I'm just gonna do something smaller. So they'll have the little things leading up to Valentine's Day. And then they'll have like a small little basket on Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this for her basket since I know I already picked up the bags you guys are gonna see since this is bigger. So I got that for Paige. The Dollar Tree is definitely the spot to go if you have multiple children. It saves you a little money. 
And if you have like younger boys, for Bryce, not too much at the Dollar Tree for him, but I can find things other places. All right, so for Rose and Pearl, they came out with these a while ago and the girls love them. They don't have these color combinations though. So I did go ahead and pick these up again, whether it is one of their advent or I keep it for their actual Valentine's Day basket. I picked this one up for Rose. It's got all the like rainbow colors and then it's silver. And then this one is a purple and blue that I picked up for Pearl. All right, I did find one thing for Bryce. I don't know if I found anything else for Advent. I found some candies and stuff for their baskets, but I found this for Bryce. And this is one of those, I used to read these all the time when I was like preteen, teen, when it was required. Actually, I don't know if we had required reading for school when I was in school, but Bryce does have required reading. And I try to pick up books that I think he might enjoy because he's not really into reading just for enjoyment just yet. He does it for school, but other than that, he won't just pick up a book and read. This one is one of those play your way books. So you get to kind of like choose your adventure depending on what you pick. It'll tell you what page to go to and see how the story ends. So I don't know how many different endings it has, but this was originally, 13 something it's under this sticker let's see 13.99 and i found it at the dollar tree for a dollar oh the glare sorry for a dollar so this is crypt quest and then space battles midnight arcade so bryce is a gamer he loves playing video games and he loves nerf like any type of you know board game all sorts of games so hopefully he will enjoy this so that's going to be either for his valentine's day basket if it won't fit in the bag or it'll be one of the advent days something i found for rose and pearl for again i'll put everything together once i get it all but either for advent or their baskets i found these they've never used these before i think they'll enjoy it i loved these as a kid and it's called spiral art so it has a little container, so maybe it has different pieces of paper in there or they can carry their own. And these little round medallion pieces, oh, that glare is awful. So what you do is you put your pencil or crayon, well not crayon, your pencil or pen in here and you kind of just move it around and it makes little spiral art. So I think the girls will get a kick out of this and enjoy it. So I got the blue and green one for Rose. She really likes these colors. And then Pearl is definitely anything pink. So I got the pink one for her. All right, we're gonna change gears for a second and get into some goodies. I picked up a few snacky items for the kids, whether again, I opt to put it into various advents or if I put it all at the end, like happy Valentine's day. So I picked up three. Now I didn't get anything for my oldest daughter because she doesn't like dairy. She lives a fairly vegan lifestyle. So these are all for my younger three. Oh, really quick, if you guys are new, I have four children. Paige is 16, she turned 16 this summer. Our son, Bryce, is going to be 10 in just a couple weeks in the middle of January. And then Rose and Pearl are our youngest twins and they turned eight in November. So that's our age range and all of that. But the younger three, Bryce and the girls, I picked them up each one of these peanut butter chocolate hearts. Rose loves peanut butter and chocolate together. Reese's, Reese's pieces or Reese's peanut butter cups. She loves all of that. So I think she will enjoy these, but I went ahead and got one for all of them. And it's just the peanut butter heart. Chocolatey shell filled with creamy homestyle peanut butter. So I did get three of those. And then I don't know if they're going to like these. I don't know if I've ever, it's probably been a while since I picked up any kind of like chocolate covered marshmallow, but they love chocolate. They love marshmallow. So we'll see if they like these. And it's a Russell Stover, which is a name brand. I think those are Palmer. Palmer, which is a pretty well-known brand as well. These are marshmallow hearts, so covered in milk chocolate. So it's a marshmallow covered in milk chocolate. Again, I got three, one for each of the younger kids. And then I almost picked one of these up for me because I can just picture myself taking a handful and popping it in my mouth. These are itty bitty hearts. Again, three, one for each of my younger kids. And it just says Russell Stover, again, the name brand, Itty Bitty Hearts, there's 50 chocolate mini hearts in here. And then it does say that this is the actual, let's let it focus, this is the actual size of the chocolate hearts on there. So I did go ahead and pick up three of those. Again, I can just picture my kids like going like that and eating the chocolate hearts like that. All right, next up, I got some more hearts. 
here uh, and I did not get three of the same. I actually catered them to the younger kids. I tried to look and see if there was something I thought Paige might like, but I just, I don't know. She might like the Sour Punch Twist. I might show her these and see if she would like one or typically her foods I get from Target or HEB, Walmart, that kind of thing. So I got three of these hearts for the younger three. I'm not sure how I'm gonna separate these two. I got a Mike and Ike and an Airheads. I might do the Mike and Ike for Rose and the Airheads for Bryce, but I got these Sour Punch Twists for Pearl because she likes sour candies. So I did get those again to go. I think I'm gonna save the candy to be in their basket for Valentine's Day. All right, last food item I think. Gosh, that's a lot of sweet treats, but they like sweet treats, what can I say? I got them each a box of chocolates. I think that is just kind of, you know, that says Valentine's Day. And I love the Dollar Tree because they have a ton of different ones that you can pick for and kind of cater to your child, child's likes. So this one says Game On. So this is for Bryce, I loved it. It's got like, I think that's supposed to be a laptop or something but he's got like the mic and a VR headset on and then a controller like he's got all the games there so I did get that for him and I think they all have the same chocolates in here yeah so it's got a caramel a strawberry cream an orange cream a cocoa truffle and then a chocolate caramel so all of them have the same chocolates in there this one I got for Rose. It says you sparkle girl with the big unicorn on it. And then this one I got for Pearl and it says call my shell and it's a mermaid. Okay, here are the bags that I picked up for the advent. So I'm not gonna buy a bag for each of the kids for every day. I am just going to refill the same bag. So I have four kids. These come in a pack of three for a dollar. So I did go ahead and just pick up two sets and then once I am setting everything out, I'll decide which bag I'm going to write which kid's name on, but you do get the three bags for a dollar. So this one is very like the light and neon pinks with the hearts and then there's the middle one. It says happy Valentine's Day. So I picked up that set and then I liked this set as well. This says happy Valentine's Day. It's got the gold on there. This one's just the red and the white hearts. And then this one's got a big old heart with the red and white stripe. So those are the two packs that I picked up to kind of just side on later on. And that's why I was like, I don't know if some of this stuff, it's really gonna have to depend on if this will fit in here or not and whether I'm gonna put it in the advent or the actual basket. But I'll, I'll probably share all that like setting up over on my vlog channel. All right, I thought I was done with all the food, but I do pick these up for each holiday, the Dollar Tree comes out with them all the time. They are so cute and it works out perfectly because I do have the three younger kids that enjoy these. So these easily rip off right here. And then I just separate them within the kids. So we've got this blue one with the toad on there, or frog. We've got this pink one, that glare though, with the monkey and then the green one with the unicorn. So I'll probably do rose, pearl, bright. And I think they're different flavors too. Popping candy, oh, and it's popping candy with a lollipop. I guess I should tell you what it is. So the blue one is blue raspberry, the pink one is strawberry, and then the green one is green apple. So I like picking these up again. It's a dollar for the whole set, and I just tear them apart and put them in the different baskets. Okay, I picked these up for my daughter's rose and pearl for Valentine's Day, and these notebooks are great. They're the hard cover which is fantastic. It does not, oh, 80 sheets, which is awesome. And they are lined, but my kids love to doodle, um, whether it's lined paper or solid paper. So I went ahead and picked this one up for Pearl. I love that. And then I got this rainbow colored one for Rose. They love to draw. And then I love these pens and this is a name brand. So this is a Bic pen. I've picked up these types of pens several times from the Dollar Tree in like the off brands and all of that. And sometimes they do get stuck and the color no longer wants to switch out. So I'm hoping by these being Bic, they work a little better. And these are the four color in one pens. Like I said, that you can just push down which color you want. So I went ahead and got one for each of the girls to go with their notebook. And then I did pick up one for myself as well. Anytime I am out with the kids, especially if they are doing sports um, and the other kids come with us for practice or games or anything like that, 
the other kids do get bored sometimes. They don't want to sit there and watch their sibling play. I don't know. That's what my, my kids do. They can't last the whole game. So I always make sure I have paper and pens and things like that in my purse. So I went ahead and picked this one up because Pearl and possibly Bryce are starting softball, baseball coming up soon. Um, so I need to get stocked up in my purse. So again, I picked this up for me and then I did pick this one up to keep in my purse as well for the kids. I love this because one, you can keep it closed. So it's not gonna open on its own in my purse and the pages get all messed up. And then two, when you open it, it's actually two separate books in here so I really love that so if I wanted to keep this for like notes and things for myself I could and then I could keep this back one just for the kids to draw and doodle in like I said if we're out and about or in the car for a long period of time or something like that and the kids are just like I need something to do I always have some kind of pen and paper in my purse for just that all right something else I got for Rose and Pearl are these so Oh, that was really bright. <laughs> These are LED makeup mirrors. So I think the outside, it looks like the light is right here. So it lights up and then the girls can do their makeup or anything like that. It says LED light, great for your purse or a travel bag. It does require two AAA batteries that are not included. So I will probably go ahead and open these up and get the batteries in them and then just have them in their advents for Valentine's Day one day for their advent. So I went ahead and picked these up. I got the white for Rose and then the pink for Pearl. Okay, so for all three of the girls, I got a pair of socks. They love socks. I actually picked this one up for Paige because that looks like a corgi, right? And she loves how cute corgis look. So again, I got that for her. That'll be one advent day. And then these looked like llamas to me. Looks like a llama. So I did pick this one up for Pearl. This is actually semi soft and fuzzy. It's not like super fuzzy, but it's definitely more on the soft side and not like a cotton sock. These are women's, but the girls still love wearing these, especially if they're like putting boots on. These socks kind of help with that. So I got the llama ones for Pearl. And then these ones are sort of fuzzy as well. So pages are not fuzzy, but the rose and pearls are. So this one is a koala. I didn't see any kind of unicorn or anything like that, but Rose is like my least pickiest child. She just loves being loved on. So I think she'll enjoy these. And then I actually found a pair of socks for me as well. And this one, these ones say be my main squeeze. So obviously Valentine's related, but they have lemons all over them. I think that is so cute. So I will just wear these around the house. I think they're so cute. So I did pick those up for myself. Definitely really easy to find things for Rose and Pearl at the Dollar Tree still. It's gonna be sad when they all age out and I have to start paying a little bit more than a dollar for their stuff. So I picked up two bath bombs. I think these are super cute. They're just Crayola and they are a heart. I think it has like an etched heart inside. Yeah, so this pink one is cotton candy scented and then this one is cherry scented. They did have a lighter, like an in-between these two colors. This one is like a magenta, but they had like a dark pink and that one was strawberry. And I feel like they had another one as well, but I went with these two. For Paige, my oldest, I picked these two masks up. I might put them in the same day or I might separate them. It just depends at the end of the day how many things I am able to find for them. But they are both Bolero facial masks. It says facial rescue mask. This one is charcoal and witch hazel. And it says detox and tone. And then this one is avocado and tea tree. And it is soothe and nourish. So I picked both of those up for her. And then speaking of Paige, she asked me the next time I went to the Dollar Tree. Her and her friend have not exchanged their Christmas gifts yet. We haven't decided when we're going to have a small little get together or they're going to get together. And she asked me to pick up some of these. So she was actually gifted these. I found these for her for Christmas Advent. Sorry, I'm gonna re-situate myself. And she said they work great and she really liked them. So she wanted me to pick them up for her friend as well. There are three different colors, I believe. The third one is a blue one. I could not find that one, but I found the green and the pink. So she is going to add this to what she already has for her friend. And did I say what they were? It's a pen, it's a glass pen and ink. 
So kind of when you're doing calligraphy, it's like a calligraphy type pen. So again, Paige has all three of the colors and she really, really loves them. And so she's excited to give these to her friend. Okay, we are coming to the end of Valentine's Day. I got a couple decor pieces. So, I mean, this is decor for my house. This is not used as a craft. I got some ribbon and let's see if I can get to where it will focus on the ribbon. There we go. So it's got, it's got Easter eggs and a bunny. I think it has like a, another style of bunny on it. Oh yeah, look at that little bunny butt. So I actually have a tray on my coffee table and it has holes in it. And each season I run a ribbon through it and tie a big bow just to go with the season. And I'm pretty sure I have one from last year for Easter, but I saw this one and I thought it was really, really cute. So I went ahead and picked the ribbon up for that. And then the only other things I got for decor this year, I just didn't really like a whole lot of things that they had out, but these signs were super cute. So I actually got this one. I have a wreath downstairs that I keep up year round and I kind of change up what's in the middle throughout if there's a season. It stays plain, just the wreath when there's no holiday or seasonal item that I have. But for holidays, I like to add something in the middle. Now that I'm looking at this, this might, uh, I don't think this is too big, but I just love this. I love the wood look. And then it just has the galvanized love right here with the little Cupid's arrow. I thought that would be really cute right there. And then I got this one as another option. So if I don't use one of these there, then I have a couple of other areas in the house where I can use it. But I love this one also. It says love makes a house a home. I tried to read that through the, <laughs> through the camera there. Love makes a house a home, yes. And I thought that was really, really cute. I do love the colors too. It's kind of different. You don't see these types of colors too much for Valentine's Day. So I like that it was a little bit softer. So I did pick that up. And then they both have the string to make it really easy if you are going to be hanging them. Or these are super easy to just put in those little like picture props and set them up on a counter somewhere. Okay, last, last Valentine thing, I did get a card for my husband and just in case, he doesn't really watch my videos, but just in case, I'm not gonna show you what the card is, but the Dollar Tree is the best place to get cards because you will not find a card cheaper anywhere else. Does it say the price on the back of this one? It does not. I wonder if Hallmark makes cards specifically for the Dollar Tree sometimes because normally Hallmark has, like most cards have a price on the back that is $3.59, $4.59, $5.78. You know, I'm just throwing out prices, but cards are pretty expensive when you buy them anywhere else. So I did get a Valentine's card for my husband and then I definitely can't show you this one because my mom does watch most of my videos. She is my biggest fan. I love you, mom. Um, I got her a birthday card because her birthday is in January. So I got picked up a card for her again, Dollar Tree, best place to get your cards. All right, let's see. We will get into in actually the holiday that comes before Valentine's day. I actually totally, it slipped my mind that new year's is this, this is going out on Wednesday. New year's Eve is tomorrow, Thursday. And then new year's day is Friday and we do not have any plans. We're not having anybody over. We're not going anywhere. We're just going to hang out, chill at home, but I still wanted to make it a little fun for the kids. So I'm actually going to see if my husband passes. I'm going to ask him if he sees any of those like little firework stands on the way to work or home and see if he can pick up some sparklers because that's what we're going to do. We're just going to have a fun little night. We'll play some games, hang out with the kids, eat some appetizers. So I went ahead and got some gold paper plates. There's 20 in here, so that'll definitely last us more than just New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And then I got the gold napkins, which there's 20 in here as well. Then I got these, it's a 12 pack of the fringed squawkers. So I went ahead and got those. Maybe if we're playing some board games, whenever somebody wins or something, we can just all blow our little squawkers. Then I got these and I think I have a couple of these that we have not used that I picked up in the past. I need to look, I have a bin in my office. I know I have some glow sticks already and all of that. So I'm gonna go through my bin and I think I might have some more of these, but I did go ahead and pick up a two of them because there's two in each and that's perfect for my four kids. And these are party poppers. So it says shoots confetti and streamers up to eight feet and they are spring loaded. So the kids are definitely 
gonna have fun with that. So I picked that up and then just for fun, I picked up some <laughs> beaded necklaces as well. And this is a mixture of silver and gold and there's eight in here. So definitely enough for our family. So just some fun things for New Year's Eve. I actually missed a couple things for Valentine's Day, not Valentine's related themed, but I picked them up for Valentine's Day. I found this and I thought my oldest daughter would enjoy this or, you know, find something to do with it. She really loves greenery. She got some um, vines that kind of look like this for her room for Christmas and she has them up kind of in the corner cascading down behind her bed with some lights and it looks really pretty. So these are rub on transfers. So I thought, I don't know, she could find something to do with these. It shows turning them into like your own little picture framed to hang up or putting it on a wooden box or a gift box, anything. It just says this product is a transfer type sticker suitable for all smooth surfaces like tile, furniture, paper, scrapbooking, gift box, etc. So I did go ahead and just pick this up for her and that'll just go into her advent or her 14th of February gift. And then I did pick up one of the canvases for her as well. So these are really thin canvases, but this is still a great value for what you're getting because these at arts and craft stores can get pretty pricey. Now they are, they do come a little thicker, but again, if your kids love to paint and they like to, you know, for you to treasure their artwork and keep it, these are great for a buck to just pick up, let your kids go to town. And then Paige really loves this because it's easy for her to keep or sometimes she does sell her art as well. So I went ahead and picked that up. I've had it upside down the whole time. And this is an eight by 10, which is a really nice size. You only get one, but again, I still think it's a great um, value for what you're getting. Arts and craft supplies can get really pricey. Now we're gonna get into just some kind of random things that I found. I went ahead and picked these up for birthdays. I think they are super cute. So it is each, each set has three candles in it. And I do have twins, so I know that the year is coming where they don't wanna to celebrate together or they don't want the same cake, they want them separately. So I thought these would be cute for next year. So this one is really cute. It's got an ice cream and then a heart and a star. So again, I'm just gonna put these in my little junk drawer where all of my candles are. I don't have that many actually, but I think these would be perfect for next year. And then this one is a rainbow with a heart and a star. And this one is a unicorn with the heart and the star. And then the heart and the star in all three of these are all the same. Oh, they're not. This one is different. So these two, you get a pink heart and a teal, blue, green, sea foam kind of color star. This one is the opposite. It's a pink star and then the heart is the sea foam color. So really, really cute. I think that's great. And these are, I feel like for a dollar, you're not buying a set of this from any other store for a buck. They're, they're gonna be a little bit more pricey. So I picked those up just to stash away for birthday season. Two food items that I picked up. I just went, we have a ton of apples. Rose has an apple a day. And I thought for New Year's Eve, I would go ahead and cut up two or three apples and then have this little caramel dip as something extra. I don't even know, they haven't had caramel dip in a very, very long time. And it's Marzetti, which I feel like is a name brand. So it just is classic caramel dip. I only got one. I don't want them, you know, eating a whole bunch of it, but I thought that this would be perfect for New Year's Eve. And then I also found this, which I think is so fun. It's a funnel cake mix. I've actually seen this at the Dollar Tree for a while. I've just never picked it up, but I think just for fun this weekend, this is the last week off that they have for school. They start back up. I think they have Monday and they go back Tuesday. I think Monday is like the teacher work day. So to end, you know, their Christmas vacation, I thought this would be fun to make this weekend. And it's just a funnel cake mix. Did I already say that? I don't know if I said it. It says mix six funnel cakes. So I thought that was super cute. You do have to add egg, milk, and then you have to fry it. So vegetable oil or whatever kind of oil you want for frying and then a pinch of flour. So we're gonna try that out this weekend. Then I got some beauty items for myself. I love picking these up for myself whenever I see them. The Dollar Tree doesn't have them all the time. So I went ahead and got another hand and foot mask. I think these work great and I use them maybe about once a month. And I mean, like I said, the Dollar Tree doesn't have them all the time. So whenever I see them, I do go ahead and pick up just one of each to throw into my bathroom closet. So I have them on hand. 
And then these items I just picked up to try. I've tried different under eye like gel masks before. I don't think I've ever picked up this one. It's Global Beauty Care. It says it has one pair of an eye treatment in there and it's the retinol hydrogel under eye pads with an anti-wrinkle serum. It minimizes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, renew, restore, revive, and it's a 15 minute eye therapy mask. So I did pick that up for myself and then I got this as well. So this is a Bolero item and it is the awakening eye cream. So it says apply to under eye area and massage into skin and look awake and refreshed with a burst of concentrated hydration. It is cucumber seed oil with caffeine. I need this because January is the worst month for my allergies. Whether I am on medication or not, nothing seems to work 100%. Like it's just allergy central for me, which stinks because it's my birthday month, but I love trying out just all kinds of different eye things, um, especially in January to help out with the puffiness and the itchy and all of that from allergies. All right, I have a couple randoms and then just a couple Easter things and then we'll be done. So I found these and I have some, I think I got them from, did I get them from Ikea? They're the long ones where you have to like twist the bag and I just don't think those work very well. I like to fold my bags once they're opened into like a triangle and then roll them down. And these clips just work better at keeping them fresh and sealed and all of that. So I did go ahead and pick up a five count of these little bag clips. And these just say multi-purpose clips. You can, you know, food storage, small toys, craft supplies, paper files. I use them for bags of chips or anything, pretzels, anything that we buy in a bag. Um, sometimes when I buy things for the freezer, if they don't come with a resealable little line on the bag, I will use these for the freezer as well. So I love having these in the house and I think, like I said, I have some other ones that just don't work well, so I'm gonna get rid of those and replace them with these. And then, okay, I picked these up just to keep on hand. We don't have any plans to go out of town right now. I mean, obviously, we're not going on vacation out of town right now, but we did go to Disney World last year, the year before, I don't know. It feels like yesterday because we had such a blast and I would definitely love to go back. And I picked up some things just to hold on for when we go back or if we decide to try Disneyland. I know we want to go to both. So I've never seen kid ponchos at the Dollar Tree before. And I, like I said, I went ahead and picked them up because we did not use ponchos the last time that we went, but they're good to have on hand just in case. These don't work the best, I've heard, because we didn't use ours last time. Um, but I did go ahead and pick them up just because like I said, it's nice to have on hand just in case. They did have a fourth option that I didn't pick up. I think it was rubber duckies, but I picked up these three. So this one is a clear poncho with green can you guys see that with green frogs on it? There we go. You guys kind of see the print right there. So I picked that one up. This one is a blue poncho with, is that a whale? I think it's a whale on it. So I picked that one up and then I got this one, which is a clear poncho. And you can't really tell by looking right here, but it's unicorns. You can sort of see it. I'm not gonna open them up or anything because like I said, I am just keeping these on hand for whenever things do start opening back up and we feel, I mean, I know they're open right now, but when we feel comfortable going on another vacation, because like I said, we would love to go back to Disney World or try out Disneyland in California. I also have never seen the adult size ponchos in colors before. So I did go ahead and pick up three. I think were, these were the only three colors that I found. So I got a pink, a green, and a blue because my 16 year old most likely won't fit in that. She's taller than I am. So she will not fit in a kid's poncho. I got her the adult one as well. And these don't even say adult. These just say rain poncho, but they're obviously for adults. So I got the three of those and the three of these for, I guess, wishful thinking that sooner or later we'll be able to get out and have some fun as a family. And I did pick up some Easter decor because I think I've already mentioned it. If you see something at the Dollar Tree that you like, don't hold off. Just because it seems like it's so far away, there's no guarantee that that item is going to still be there when you're ready to pick it up. So I pick things up early all the time. I just stash it somewhere until I want it slash need it. 
these just caught my eye. I thought they were so cute. Now they do have the small little packs of carrots, the same thing that they had last year, but I have some of those, but I've never seen these big ones with the picks. You could do so many things with these, add these to some kind of floral arrangement. They each come with two in here. So I just had to pick these up. I thought they were super cute. Okay, and then last but not least, I picked these up. Now these are moss bunnies and you get three in one. They are a really good size, if you can see here. But I picked these up, I'm gonna show them to my oldest daughter. She likes to turn little knickknacks like this into earrings. She does not sell them or anything like that. She just does it for fun. She makes some for Pearl, who does have her ears pierced. Rose does not have her ears pierced. She does not want to. So Paige has some of the clip-on earrings, and she's made me a couple pairs already as well. So she, I thought she might be interested. Again, these are really good size, but I think they would just be fun. Novelty earrings. So I just picked these up with that in mind for me to give to her. I'm not going to, like, this isn't going to be a gift or a present. I'm just going to hand them to her with the little ink pens for her friend. And we'll see if she wants to turn these into earrings. Maybe I'll try to remember and post on Instagram or on my vlog channel, which if you guys aren't following me, you should, cause you definitely see me more in real time and hanging out more on the laid back side and get to know me a little bit more personally over there. So um, I'll share those if she's comfortable with it over on the vlog channel, or I'll just snap a picture and post them on Instagram. All right. That is everything, hold on, let me reach over here, that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, except for one item, and that is for you guys. So I did go ahead and pick up a $50 Dollar Tree gift card to give back to you guys. That is definitely something, it should be Friday's video. I am sharing a what I made in 2020, um, my goals for 2021 personally and channel-wise, getting a little bit of y'all's feedback in that video. And one of the things that I'm going to be talking about, I really hope that it's gonna go out on Friday. We'll see, you never know, because I haven't filmed it yet, but it's my idea. <laughs> but one of the things that I do want to do next year is give back more. I feel like I ended this year pretty well giving back. I did a giveaway for October, the Croctober series. I did a pretty big one for December. I just wanted to give back to you guys and all of that as much as I can because I feel like a lot of people are hurting this year and my family is blessed and very thankful that we have not been hit by, you know, a lot of things that has happened this year um, that other families have been hit with and it just hurts my heart. And I really want to try, I'm gonna get teary, I try to give back a little bit more next year and just help as many people as I can in the form that I can do, you know? Like I don't know a ton of you guys personally, so it's not like I can help you out on a personal level, but gift cards and cash giveaways and items that I think could be helpful that's what I'm gonna be focusing on next year. So I did pick up a $50 Dollar Tree gift card to give away to one of you guys. You can use this for household products. They have paper products, they have food, um, getting ready for your next holiday to just love on your kids and gift them with things, whatever you want. You could give this away to somebody if you know somebody who would, could use it more than you. So all I want you to do is leave me a word. I mean, you can leave a comment, but I want you to leave me a word for me to take into 2021. I've seen this going around and I absolutely love it. That starts with the first initial of your name. So take my name for example is Vanessa. One word that I can think of is viable, which capable. Um, I want to be more capable, viable going into 2021 with things that I can control within my own life. So something like that. I want you guys to leave me a word that starts with <laughs> the your name, whether you go by your middle name, which all of my kids do, your first name and nickname. You just pick a letter that resonates with you and leave me a word that I can take into 2021. I think that would be fantastic and you guys will get something from reading those comments and those words and maybe some of those will stick with you and you'll need to read those and, and work on that for 2021. I hope that made sense. So that's all I need you to do. Now in the video that I just mentioned that I'm gonna do my best to have out on Friday, that video I'm going to mention the winner and then I'll get I'll try to get into contact with you I'll comment on your comment and you guys can send me an email or something like that and that way I know that it's it's you and all of that so 
that is my last little giveaway for 2020 because this is going out the very end of December and hopefully we can all start 2021 on a, you know, a good note. We don't know what the year is going to bring us, but at least we're starting it on a good note with reading those words and really trying to absorb them and make a difference in our own lives for 2021. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Dollar Tree haul. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you become a part of our community here. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you would like to enter to win a Dollar Tree, $50 Dollar Tree gift card. And I will see you guys on Friday with my 2021 goals and what I made in 2020. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. 